What is up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to the channel and in this video guys, I'm actually gonna walk you guys through, um, screen record actually, um, and show you guys how one of my stores actually generated $124,960.15 for the month of December, okay? So that's the video guys. We're just gonna hop right into it. I'm gonna explain to you guys, you know, like kind of what we did to build up to, to this point, right? To actually launch like a, a campaign of that kind of scale. And then kind of just what we actually did to, to, to generate those sales, right? Like what did we do? Influencers, Facebook ads, like there's a bunch of different stuff that you can do and play with and tinker to get uh, results, right? Cause there's a lot of different methods that work for Shopify dropshipping, but I'm gonna show you guys what worked for me and um, this store. So let's just hop right into it guys. The screen recording is gonna be on right now. <laughs> What's up guys? We are in the screen recording now. As you can see um, right here for these last for this last month um, in December, we actually got $124,960.15 in sales. Now, as you can see, guys, first of all, I'm going to give you guys like a little backstory, right? Um, compared to the prior month, right? The prior month, this store was averaging anywhere from, you know, 1000 to 2000 a day in sales, as you can see by the great bar over here. And then for the first week, week and a half of December, it was still averaging, you know, one, two K a day, if you, um, you know, up and down from there. But then we launched a Facebook campaign. Okay. And that's when we just blew things out of the water and scaled essentially to, you know, Hey, we're doing, you know, on December 20th, on Christmas day, $10,000 worth of, you know, in, in revenue generated. Okay. So that's, you know, the, the, I guess the, the, the social proof or whatever for you guys to actually see like, Oh, Snap, this store did generate that much, guys. And this is a store that I run with some um, two other people, but we have actually refreshed this for you guys, um, just so you guys don't think it's like Photoshop or anything like that. But this is this this is one of this is one of the sites, okay? So how do we actually get you know these results? Or like how how do we generate these results? Okay? Alright. How do we start, right? So one, as you guys know, as I always preach, especially just in, in my course and my free mini courses, link in the description, always plug, but how I preach is, hey, we start off with influencer marketing, right? We use influencers on Instagram specifically to build up our pixel, right? So we take influence from Instagram. We somehow, right, through shout outs, story feeds, you know, live plugs, anything like that, get traffic to our website, okay? There's a whole funnel and cycle along that just to show you guys how to, you know, capture eyeballs from some other users' accounts, okay? Get them to your Instagram account, get them from your Instagram account to your website, get them from your website to a conversion, okay? There's a whole kind of funnel and process just in that in itself that we talk about that I also talk about in a lot of videos here on the channel as well. Um, there's also, you know, Instagram free mini courses, but that's besides the point. Uh, so that's, that's you know, the, the funnel and just, hey, this is what we do as, you know, a less of uh, you know, budget intensive, I guess, um, method for scaling and just starting to generate revenue and just collecting that data that we need so that we can then begin to scale it really hard on paid platform ads, especially with Facebook and stuff like that. And so that, that's what we used to, you know, build up that data. And then even for November, guys, November, we were running Facebook ads, just not at the scale that we did towards this end of the month um, for December, okay? So you use influencer ads to kind of collect data, all right? You know, hey, who's your demographic? Who's adding to cart? Who's purchasing? All this kind of stuff Facebook is collecting when you add, you know, your Facebook pixel ID to your Shopify site in the settings. And then you're driving traffic from these Instagram influencers to your website in an attempt to get them to convert. Now, after you've built that pixel data up, okay, that's where we're gonna look at Facebook ads, okay? And with Facebook ads, that's where you actually begin to start scaling your store, okay? And if I'm correct, for these for for, for our ad campaign, we were spending anywhere from eight hundred to eleven hundred dollars a day in ad spend to generate, you know, these these kind of results. So it was about I'd say, I mean, on any, any, any kind of day, we'd have anywhere from like a, a three to seven X return on our ad spend, even more at, at most points. But that's kind of what we were looking at spending just so you guys get interest. I want to actually show, like, show you guys like a walkthrough, like, hey, this is what we did to, to kind of build up the, the data we wanted to use, okay? And then, hey, this, this month, like the month of November, it was just kind of cruising, right? One to two K a day, nothing like crazy. Um, but I mean, it's, it's good money. And then we were like, okay, hey, let's, you know, scale the crap out of it. Let's see, let's see, let's see if we can blow it up. And so we did that. And so for this month of December, you see it's $124,000, guys, I'm 20. But um, that's, that's also besides the point, guys. It's four in the morning here. Um, so, so 
um, yeah, yeah. So basically, that that's that's literally the process is in its most simplified form. Is hey, we go from Instagram traffic. Okay, we use that traffic to build up data that we can then use to go to Facebook and then scale it up, right? So even with influence ads, you might only be doing you know 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 a day in sales, right? But you're using that data, using that that volume, that traffic, all the all the things that come from those influencer shoutouts to your website. You're using that data to then scale with Facebook ads. Right, so that that's kind of the point. That's how you go from five hundred a day to you know a thousand a day, a thousand a day to two thousand, two thousand to five thousand a day. Okay, so that that's kind of what you do. Obviously, with Facebook ads, it gets like a little bit more complex and just like are you you know manually bidding, automatic bidding, you're targeting kind of how you're targeting. But again, guys, that's why the Facebook pixel in your store is so vital, I guess you could say, and just building that up, making sure it's a quality demographic that you're collecting from, right? Because again, if you're not getting sales to your store, guys. With your pixel on, you you don't you don't want to scale with with that kind of audience, right? Like does that does that, does that make sense? Like you don't want to scale up a site, like scale up. You're not actually gonna scale up. Um, to attempt to scale up a site that's not making very much money with that kind of audience that the the pixel is like it knows, right? Just from the traffic that you sent your way, and then try and take that and then multiply it, right? Because then then you're gonna be one wasting a lot of money to try and get someone to purchase. And it's just not going to be worth your time. You're not going to have a good ROI. Um, none, none, none of those, you know, none of those things will be compatible. So, the trick or like the the, the essence of it is, hey, you need influencer shoutouts, right? You need to source these influencers properly. Okay, make sure you're actually working with legitimate influencers that have a legitimate presence, right? A lot of these people, um, and especially just because like the state of the market and everything else like that is just there, there's a whole market of influencers that just want to get dropshippers money. And that it, it sucks for for us and for you guys, right? Especially those, those new guys who are just getting their feet wet, because that that's who they kind of prey on. But it's like they they buy fake followers, they buy fake engagement, so that you go to their account and they charge you, you know, cheaper rates than actual quality accounts. But then you go with them, and you're not actually, you know, getting your shout out in front of anyone because it's a fake. It's all fake, right? So that that's the number one thing to be kind of cautious of when you first start off. Is like, um, especially you know, with, with with my cycle that I preach and everything like that that we do. Um, it's like, are you, you know, working with these good influencers, okay? And if you are, then good. That that that's a very key step. That's a major, you know, piece in this funnel. And then it goes into your caption, your shout out, the imagery you use, the call to actions in your shout outs, like all that kind of stuff, guys. That's what it takes to get traffic to your Instagram page, from your Instagram page to your website, okay? Now, me personally, especially with this store and everything else, it's we use really really quality content. Okay, um, I don't know if you guys know my Insta feed or anything like that, but my Instagram for you guys, like, I, I really stress content, like, good quality content, okay? And so, if you have good content, right, one, you're, you're, you're positioning your brand more authoritatively, two, you're actually positioning it as genuine, authentic, and different from everyone else who's posting those white background pictures, those AliExpress stock images, all that kind of stuff, you're, you're, you're separating yourself from that, right? You're separating from yourself and you're looking better than, than everyone else who's doing that. Okay, so that's a key, key, key thing because then people are like, oh, this is actually a really cool brand. They're not just calling you, you know, some random reseller site, right? They actually can, like, it, it, it's psychology. Like, they, they think of your, like, of, of, of your reseller site as a brand, okay? And that's how you're positioning it because, again, it's all perspective. It's like, how are you angling your brand, right? And one, are you more luxury? Are you, you know, more cheaper, affordable goods? Like, it's all this kind of branding, how you're, how you're positioning yourself is what's kind of going to play a key role to at least gain customer trust, gain customer interest, and ultimately get them to convert on your website, okay? So, again, with the caption, the actual imagery we use for our influencer shout-outs, good content, like good quality content that we actually post, okay? This is supposed to grab their attention. It's, it's just like email marketing, guys. And, again, you might not be familiar with that, but the whole point of email marketing in a sense, right, it has the same kind of funnel as, as an Instagram shout out, okay? Email marketing, the subject of the email is supposed to draw users' attention to get them to actually open it, okay? Now, once they've opened it, the whole body of the email is supposed to get them to actually click whatever, you know, they're talking about in that email, okay? And then from there, it takes them to the website, the website's job is to convert them, okay? This works very, very